two of me working out yesterday. I had to cut it short. I did last night try to bench 70 pounds, which I can do. It kind of hurts my hands though, so I've been watching some videos. And my friends were saying your feet need to be able to touch the floor, but I'm too short. So I had to use some weights. I have real shoes on today. So I'm just going to work out and do whatever I want to do. Sizzle. <laughs> Is it called Sissel? S-I-S-I-S-I-S-A-L? It's going to be a little DIY for later. I'm going to have to do some fresh ones on there. Spooks. Coco joined us. Got up a little bit early so that... I'm early. It's like 8 o'clock. I got up an hour ago. So that I can make crepes. So I'm going to make crepes for breakfast. Crepes. <laughs> Three bananas. Because <laughs> the monkeys never tops. Yeah, I'm going to make crepes today. It was moldy. And I was like... Yeah. And this... <laughs> These prices? Not yell at them, but you know, I don't yell at them. Let me say it this way. I yell at them so infrequently that they can remember being yelled at. However, they think that me telling them, what are you doing? Just put the drapes on. Like, why, why are you turning the light on at 8 o'clock in the morning? They think that's yelled. So this is my regular, regular starter, and she is just going to town, just bubbly, bubbly. A bunch of you were like, your lid's too tight. You're right. And I had discovered that prior to me actually posting that um, latest vlog. And I'm so excited to have like a fresh, crusty sourdough and I'm just sure it's gonna come out a little funky and then it's just gonna be another process to perfect that. You guys gave me lots of tips on the popovers. A bunch of you were like those are called Yorkshire puddings in the UK or England or I'm not exactly sure where but okay yes but I also saw somebody make a Dutch baby pancake and then I saw the comments and they're all like Dutch people don't even eat that and it's like it's just called a Dutch baby. I don't think it was meant to be a Dutch recipe. Anyway, everybody was saying, that's Yorkshire pudding. I was like, well, which is it? Is it all of it? Is it anything with egg and flour in the oven? Is it Yorkshire pudding? Now I know that I've never had Yorkshire pudding. I had spotted thick. It was totally different. <laughs> when I went to London, I tried to eat everything the Weasleys had ever mentioned in Harry Potter. I didn't do it, and some of it was not super appetizing to me, but I tried. I was wrong. It's not a Magnolia book. It is a skinny taste book, and I know that because the crepes are on the back of the cookbook. This is one of my favorite cookbooks ever. Skinny taste, like the original cookbook. Um, these are just, Sarah, you crushed your new ring yesterday, yeah. And I'm so sorry because I'm cinnamon cooking spray. Cook it. Okay. It doesn't, it calls for two whites and then one whole egg, so I threw the yolks in the pan. Um, it's about to be a yogi scramble. Crepes, <laughs> crepes are craving. This one's kind of like, am I a pancake or not? Nah? It's not sure. And then, you want the eggs? And then these are getting a little toasty. Over there, thinking about the crepes. I'm gonna cut an apple. And then I want Jade to walk by and take one half bite of the apple and be like, all right, mom, I gotta go. Just take off. And I have like milk and orange juice, and I got all kinds of stuff sitting out. Why? Yeah. Why would you do that and not leave it? Because it's the American teenager way. The mom brings her back on breakfast and then they leave. He's 11. Oh, you're right. He's 11. He's still in breakfast. Dang. Now I'll just have a second guessing myself. Because she's like, I thought you were going to fill him with bananas and Nutella. And I was like, we didn't even have bananas. Like, the whole thing was centered around jam. And so I had to make one. This thing is delicious. I don't know what she's talking about. Mind you, she didn't eat them. But she loves to say that uh, I was just hungry. <laughs> and it literally takes like two seconds. <laughs> this grape is pretty much done. We do this in real time. Once it's like slippery, then you know it's finished cooking. And then you drop it onto your cutting plate. Crepes are fun. They're fun to fill. They're like a fun way to make a essentially like a pancake-y kind of flavor. It's lighter and chewier, though. Is it lighter? So I don't See, I don't know. I don't, it's just your nice mm -hmm. And the back one. Can you drag my off and I'll, maybe I'll show you guys the facility she's training at. It's nice. Um, anyway, I have to open my iron. They have a damn travel size area. Okay, I'm gonna look in the regular cleaning supply stuff. It's not gonna be there. It's not gonna be there, right? It's only gonna be over here. It's like $50 on Amazon, and it's like $25 on the Scrub Daddy website, so 
think they know where I'm getting at. Ooh, I just found another really aisle. Oh, this is camp tools. Frisbees. Yeah, they got their frisbee. Jackie took one when we went to start. Oh, this is a fans. Disc golf. Oh, this is for a uh, froth. Um, yeah, this is for camping. So it probably wouldn't be over here. All right. A little hobo coffee. I think that's a Jason Clover. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> it's like a style of making coffee. <sighs> okay, power piece. I know I put the gel the other day. It's not the same. The power piece is legit. And we didn't run out, but now I use it for her resin. So now I can't use it. Um, the, uh, I can't use it on the dishes because I'm not trying to like kill us, you know? I'm sur I mean, I'm not surprised, but I'm just kind of surprised. How cute is this mug? You I don't, I don't need another mug. It's the one that you want to I know. I got another yeah. really cool cup. It was, it was out of my shoe cup. It was out of my shoe cup. Oh, my God. We're back. Jack sweet. And 70 pounds is too heavy. Put away most of what I bought. Uh, but I, I need to get my day. form better with 50. It's all dry at the end. It's still like a dry noodle, basically. It makes it so incredibly flavorful. It's just, cr it's crazy good. We love doing it that way. I originally started doing it that way because I think in an Aisha Curry book, was it Aisha Curry? No, I think it was a Tia Maori book. She did a mac and cheese that way. She ended up with a bunch of cheese and stuff though. So I was like, wait, what now? I think it was Tia Maori. I'm not sure. Anyway, it was delicious. And now, right, because Jay's not having a mac and cheese, I believe. And mac and cheese gives Nala the bee cheese. So we. Period. Okay, weigh the ripe culture into a large bowl, add flowers, water, mix the ingredients. But just judging by judging by the fact that it's domed, I'm guessing she rose quite a bit. How exciting, bro. I need to score it. I did buy this is part of that like little bread kit I think that I can show you guys. It came with like the chopping scoop thing. This came with it. And then it comes with this thing and this, which I believe is a bunch of razor blades. And then, oh, it does have a little cover. That's the only reason I didn't put the razor blade on. So I was like, I don't need to swim around with a cover on it. Oh, okay. And then it gives you a whole bunch of razor blades. Wrapped all perfectly in a little thing. Oh, this is actually adorable. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how to put this on here. I don't know what I'm... I don't, I don't know how to do it. Did I do that wrong? If, if y'all know whether or not I did that wrong, please let me know. I'm going to use this today and I'm going to put it away. And if I did it wrong, let me know, because uh, I'm very confused. Anyway, I'm supposed to score it. All right, so I got so hot out there, I have to continue it inside because it's just, I get too sweaty and nobody likes to work out. Like, it's like literally like a sauna in there. But I did get a little pump in, so I'm going to continue inside. I brought the weight bar inside, so I'm going to do some hip thrusts, some RDLs. I was just kind of testing what I can do. I need to work on form because it's ridiculous. And I specifically won a Clio Health Award, the honorary Clio Health Award. Now, I have not been to an award show since like 2019, which of course means like I go the Elton John has not been to a single award show, which for him is tragic. I think it's that would worry about Well, that's what I mean. Like, it's tragic that he hasn't been to one. Because that's like, that's his vibe. Red carpets and Elton, nothing goes better. So for those who don't know, most awards you apply for. That's typically how all awards work, and I have not applied for awards since pretty early on in my career. Um, I used to think it was like fun and exciting, and it is, and then since 2019, I've just kind of been like, eh, like it's not, like, it's lovely to win awards, but it's not why I do what I do. So as fun as it was to like get a streaming and get a shorty, I was just like, eh, it's fun and it's cool, but I'm not in it to win awards. Like I'm just in it to like build a community and make content and connect with people around the world and hopefully help people. And so I stopped applying for awards. I haven't applied since 2019 and I didn't apply for a purpose award. So I'm pretty humble that I like keep getting the awards that Jay Shetty gets because he's incredible. Like I, I absolutely love Jay Shetty. My boyfriend and I are like always sending clips of Jay Shetty back and forth to each other. He's amazing. Um, on Wednesday morning, also like a really big important meeting. I know you guys would be really excited about the project if it goes through, so everybody pray. Good 
good vibes in the comments, good vibes in the comments. Um, and that whole outfit, you'll see it when I'm there, but it's brought to you by Japan, it's so freaking cute. Um, I don't know what foundation I want to buy, I'm really torn, I kind of want to try the Makeup by Mario one, heard mixed reviews, but I kind of want to try it. But I also love my NARS Sheer Glow, but maybe the Makeup Forever HD, I'm torn. So, let's go shopping, we'll see what I end up with. Why I live. <laughs> I secured the foundation on the Makeup Forever HD, I didn't visit in years, but I used to be my absolute fully freaking real. I, I remember them. Yeah. And it was so beautiful, so flawless. They've reformulated it since then, so I'm just Las Vegas. Um, where I are they? Yes. And the thing about flying to New York that always gets me, because I have done this flight West Coast to East Coast so many times, it's not just the five hour flight. It is the five hour flight plus, like, you have to get to the airport three hours early because we're flying on visas, you know? And then you have to get to the airport, and once you land, you have to, like, get your stuff, get into a car, drive to your hotel. Like, it literally takes an entire travel day. We left our place at 10.45 this morning, and we will get to our hotel at 8 p.m. PST. If we're lucky. No, that's when we land. So we'll probably get to our hotel at, like, 9.30 PST. So that's, like, an 11-hour travel day. And that would be midnight. Thank you. 